On the first day of the Battle of Gettysburg, the 5th Main Battery, under the command of Greenleaf T. Stevens, took position not 200 yards behind me on what's called Seminary Ridge. They were next to another battery, they were surrounded by infantry, and they were presented with an opportunity as Confederates furiously assaulted their position. Prepare! Fire! The Confederates attacked in what appeared to them to be waves. First, you have Confederates coming at them in one line. They repulsed them, but the second Confederate line, North Carolinians under the command of a guy named Scales, came swarming into their position. And with the Union line buckling on right and left, there was nothing they could do. Eventually, they co-mingled and intermixed with the battery next to them and conducted a furious retreat back through the crowded streets of Gettysburg. After the 5th Main Battery retreated back through town, they weren't exactly sure where to go. They knew that the Union Army was gathering on Cemetery Hill and Culp's Hill. And soon, an officer came riding up, pointing to those brass guns over there. Get those up to the Yonder Hill. Yonder Hill was not Culp's Hill or Cemetery Hill, but rather a knoll between the two, now known as Stevens Knoll, named after the commander of the 5th Main Battery. That is where they would take position. They were there on the evening of July 1st, and on July 2nd, 1863, not a whole lot happened until twilight. When again, North Carolinians come streaming out right toward their position and did something that artillerymen don't often see. In the course of their attack, they had to move to the right. In other words, they had to wheel, and in doing so, presented a perfect target for Stephen's Battery. Stephen's Battery, now under the command of Edward Whittier, and the Union opened up with absolutely deadly effect upon the Confederates. It slowed the Confederates down, although the Southerners continued to push on toward East Cemetery Hill. But Stevens' battery had done their job. They had slowed the Confederates down, they had thinned their ranks, and the Southerners fell back before long.